Hey everyone and welcome back to another Sims 4 building video. Today we are doing a speed build renovation of the Anchor Point library located in the world of San Sequoia which came with the Sims 4 Growing Together expansion pack. Um, I've been wanting to do the library or a library build for a while now so it's not really a renovation I guess it's more of a full demolish and rebuild but uh, this is kind of what I had in my head for a while as far as a modern um, looking library that kind of fits in this whole area of the world or anchor point, um, I guess. Um, so uh, a couple of interesting features about the lot. There are two private study rooms. The first floor is basically just like a giant circulation or check-in desk. Uh, a couple of bookcases, the restrooms, and access to the pergola as well as stairwell to go upstairs, um, which upstairs you get additional computers. Um, a kids area, which is like a kids reading area, some activity tables, and also a like play area for these smaller uh, sims like babies, toddlers, or even kids can go in there, I guess, um, if you want to. So yeah, it's a pretty neat build. I thought of jazzing up the exterior a little bit with this pergola on the back. Um, and later on, we come back and add um, a bench and chests outdoor chests uh, there's also a chess table on the inside as well to meet the requirements of the lot i think it only required one but we put in two um just to have one indoor one outdoor but uh, i thought it was nice to take advantage of the beautiful space surrounding the lot um, with all the flowers and stuff it's kind of like a mini park i guess uh, and there's a fountain nearby so it's like the perfect spot to do a little bit of chess i guess and just relax and read a book. So that's kind of what we have here. Um, as far as building goes and features, um, I did put in some skylights mainly over the two study rooms and then in a couple of the main like hallway areas. Um, and this is where I'm kind of figuring out the first floor of what it's going to look like. I kind of feel like maybe the circulation desk is a tad too big looking back on it now, but I thought it was important to have it kind of curve around a little bit um, and we do come back and add in some clutter of books and things that are kind of stacked around that need to be filed put away uh, back on the shelves um, and I was trying to use the book nook um, bookcase or bookshelf items rather um, and then I thought, no, nah, let's use the ones from Growing Together for like the main library and we can use some of the book nook kit um, items like clutter and stuff that came with the kit around the library but then also use the bookshelves for like the kids room I think um, just because these bookcases that came with growing together are like so much more like modern looking and, and nicer looking and they just fit the overall look that I was going for with the library or in this case in this particular library and then the book no kit um, shelves actually fit quite well in the kids reading room reading area so um, quite nice, I think. As far as packs, this lot requires is only two. Um, you need the base game, obviously, but you also need the Sims 4 Growing Together expansion pack and then the Book Nook kit. Uh, so I got to use some of the items from the new kit. I still do want to build a house um, that actually uses the kit and has like a home library, I think. Um, I would love to do that. Uh, so maybe that'll be my next build, kind of, just to use those items more exclusively, not just in a build for uh, San Sequoia or just a world or, or a library, but more like a home library. I think that would be way nicer, and I think it'd be a bit more practical um, to use them. So we're just finishing up the exterior wallpaper here. I went for some, like, um, concrete, like gray concrete. Uh, for the main siding and then wood accents, which is using the growing together uh, wooden siding. And I carried some of those accents on the interior as well. Um, the doors and windows are just base game, but they're a wood tone palette to kind of tie in with the um, rest of the wood accents, I guess. It's just a very earthy, uh, warm library. Uh, I think, and the wood floor throughout, which is also kind of the same wood tone as like the other accents just fits so well, I think. And it just makes it feel like a really cool 
uh, little library. So yeah, just kind of figuring out what to put on this back wall behind the circulation desk. But uh, I do just use the bookshelf or shelf items rather than not bookshelves, but they're just decorative shelves that you can put some stuff on from growing together that look like suitcases. I thought that was kind of a unique touch. We're just doing the restrooms right now on the first floor and there's just toilets, uh, a baby changing table and sinks pretty pretty bare bones that's really all you need up here i decided to at first i was like mm, let's try and like color code these that'd be kind of cool but then i'm like no let's just keep it like one color kind of neutral um, and then these private study rooms have a computer and then a chair in the corner and that's really it there's no like special bookshelves or anything they're more like just private little study rooms where your sims can go and um write that novel they've been wanting to write, do some work, have a private Zoom. Um, Zoom. I don't even know if they'd call it that uh, in The Sims, but you know, like a video chat. I don't know why I said Zoom. I'm just thinking real life, but you know, it works. Uh, what would they call it? That's a good thing. Yeah. What would you, what would you call a video conferencing platform for The Sims? I, I was going to say plumb bobs, but that kind of doesn't really make sense because <laughs> that's not even like remotely close to what it would be. Uh, what do they call it, though? There's like a thing, a feature on the cell phone where you can do like video chatting, but it's probably just video chatting. But anyway, yeah. So you can also do research in there on the computers as well. So if you want to go down your research spiral and just keep researching and researching, it's a good spot to do it as well. Uh, instead of just using one of the main computers. I really do hope I put in enough computers in this build. There are one, two, three, four, five, six computers, which doesn't sound like a lot now that I'm totaling it up, but because there's two in the um, private study rooms and then four in the main area. But you know how Sims just really gravitate towards computers. So it's like, ooh, uh oh, probably didn't put as many as I could have. I probably could have put another row in this main area here, like in the center, but I wanted to give some more space or a different way for Sims to walk uh, and kind of navigate around those desks. So uh, we do some minor decorating in the kids area. I use some of the growing together items that um, are wall decals, rather not items, but wall decals. Um, which I thought were great. They fit well with the overall theme of the room. I love the colors. I just love how it turned out. I think those book nook um, bookshelves really went great in that area. And then these um, book nook like pictures that have like fun little colors and um, different like like word like speech bubbles. Um, I thought that was really cool. So I really wanted to use those um, as a feature for the library. Uh, we're just finishing up landscaping now, which we do two park benches, one out front uh, near the sign, but off to the side there. And then I was thinking about putting in like some kid related items um, and I decided against that like playground items. But I did put in the like drawing board display right by the front entrance that way, like with the two small activity tables that I'm sliding in right now. Um, it's kind of like, you know, your Sims got to hang out their cool little uh, drawings from their um, little activity day or whatever they happen to do when they visit the library. And I'm just putting around some of the book nook um, stacks, which are just decorative books. Thought it was great to have those around. Uh, and then over here, I thought about putting in a small little game table. I do end up keeping that, but um, they are functional. So, and I also carry them into the kids' rooms. So, uh, there's puzzles and the other um, item as well that came with growing together. I just realized there's no table for Sims to play on those games, though. Like, you need the game table to be able to play those games. That's a small oversight on my part, but they were merely for decoration. But if you really wanted them to be useful, I guess you could add one of the game tables um, somewhere. Maybe swap out the indoor chess table or something or or other something like that um but yeah because they're mainly just for decoration i thought it was nice to go on the shelves but it's like if you want it to be functional i did not put the gaming table in there um but anyway uh we are just finishing up some of the uh shrubbery landscaping and i'm tying into the surrounding area of the world here i grabbed some of the trees from debug some of the bushes from debug uh, some of the rocks from Debug that kind of make it just all tie in and feel very cohesive. 
I would have loved to found those like flower beds that they use that were like that had like this flat edging on it but a very bright like mulchy dirt color like you see it right there a couple times in the one little park area I wanted to really find that but I couldn't find anything like that uh, that would have really made it like match like perfectly and fit so well but I did my best matching it as best as I could with what we have and what I could find in debug and uh, the rocks are very nice too I actually found the ones that they used uh, in the right color tone as well because originally I was just pulling some of the ones from the regular um, decorative area and they're just like a lighter color and it just didn't look right or didn't feel like it fit right with the uh, surrounding like landscaping so um, it's it's kind of important to me that, that if I'm like building a lot for a specific area that I do tie in the landscaping and and the flowers and everything so that it all kind of fits and feels like it belongs otherwise I feel like it kind of just sticks out like a sore thumb kind of thing like I don't know it's just hard to explain but I just really prefer to like if I'm building in an area I want to like tie in the landscaping so that way it just flows and feels like it belongs so anyway we are now into the screenshots so I was very creative on the naming I just left it anchor point library uh, I guess this is my version of the anchor point library you could say um, and it's available on the gallery my EA ID is the simified so you can grab it download it into your game uh, and enjoy this new library for uh, San Sequoia, which came with The Sims 4 Growing Together. And again, it only requires Growing Together and the Book Nook kit. So uh, very nice. It's a very simple lot. It's kind of what I was going for, a very limited pack build. But I wanted it to be available for everybody because it's such a core feature of the Growing Together world, having the library and just all of the cool stuff that comes with it. So... I do hope you enjoyed this speed build. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure to leave a comment below if you enjoyed it. Also, let me know what you're thinking of the uh, Horse Ranch expansion coming. Oh, wow. We're actually like two weeks away. A little under two weeks, I think. Roughly, give or take an extra day or here. But that's really cool. Like, um, they did release like a gameplay trailer which showed a bit more of the horses and stuff. And it looks really great. It looks to be a great expansion. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Um, and again, I do thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video.